I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam, non-calculator section. We have the graph of one equation in the system of equations where we're told that there are no solutions. If there are no solutions to a system of, equation, of linear equations, then both equations are parallel. They have the same slope. So if I find the slope of the line they've graphed, I'll find the slope of the second equation not shown, and that will help me to answer the question. The slope of the first equation is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And always look for the points where they've indicated a point, and in most cases, giving you the coordinates so that you can get exact values rather than trying to estimate fractions between the grid lines. So this is, the y value here is 4. And the y value for the second point is negative 1, so 4 minus negative 1 is 4 plus 1 for y2 minus y1. Your x2 minus x1 has to be done in the same order, so this point I use first for y is also first for x. 0 minus the x value negative 4, so 0 plus 4, so that's 5 fourths. The slope of the line shown is 5 fourths, so the slope of this line is also 5 fourths. And I have ax minus y equals 0. If I add y to both sides, I get y equals ax. So the slope here is a, and the slope has to be 5 fourths, because for no solution in the system of linear equations in the plane, they both have to have the same slope. So I would grid, grid in 5 fourths, or 1.25. College Board loves questions about no solution or infinitely many solutions. And in both cases, you have the same slope. For no solution, you'll have different y-intercepts. This one has a y-intercept of 0, where the one shown has an intercept of 4. For infinitely many solutions, you'll have the same y-intercept, but in both cases, the same slope. Come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.